Hey everyone, today we're going to look into hard surface modeling tips in Maya, specifically on how to handle corners. Corners can always be troublesome, and if not approached properly, can really mess up your topology. So I'll cover my workflow on how to model corners and still maintain clean topology in Edgeflow. All right, so here we are in Maya, and we can see that we have the Mandalorian helmet, which I just finished in one of my last recent videos. And we're going to specifically be looking at this piece here and how to handle the corners. All right. So what I'm going to do is revert back to this piece here, which was before I did the final tweaks and beveling and holding lines. OK, so at this point, once I got the main form, I go into edge mode and I start selecting the edges that I want. Now, in this case, I actually have a quick selection set. And if you haven't used selection sets, they're really nice where you can go to create over here and then down to sets and then quick selection set. So I can simply go to this edge here and then do select set members. And there we go. So these are the lines that I'm going to want to bevel. All right. So if I go ahead and do that, I shift right click. I can go ahead and do bevel edge. And then there we go. It has applied the bevel to the entire uh, set of edges here on the model. Now, for hard surface modeling, what I typically end up doing is a turning chamfer off, okay? Because you can kind of see what that does, right? So if I go ahead and actually give this two segments, you can see that it starts to kind of give it a radius. Um, and I want to actually avoid that. And so what you do is just turn off chamfer. And chamfer just makes it so that it keeps the original form and just adds these holding lines. Now, these are great if you're iterating and editing the model and you can always kind of come back and simply remove these to get back to the original form all right and if we wanted to increase the fraction we certainly can maybe to something like one um you know the bottom will be ne needed to be cleaned up a little bit but maybe we can stick to something like 0.75 okay so i'm going ahead and hit q now you'll notice here that this corner here is still very smooth now what I could do, I'll show you a couple different um, approaches to corners here, is I could select these two pieces, these two edges here. So if I get in here and select these edges like this and then apply a bevel, let's see what that does. OK, so I'm going to apply maybe again a 0.75 bevel fraction and then I'm going to turn off chamfer and you can kind of see what that does. OK, so this is actually not that bad. And if I go ahead and hit three for smooth preview, we can see that with a fong material, I can see highlights. Right. And this works pretty good on a smooth surface or a flat surface. But the problem is once I start having a curved surface, um, this is not going to help. But what I can do to fix this is simply go to multi cut here. And we're going to want to split this edge. So you can see that this is a one, two, three, four, five, six sided uh, face. So I can go ahead now and split that into two four sided faces like this. All right. Then what I can do is go ahead and add another holding line and to kind of help smooth out the uh, the corner and get a good even distribution of edges here. So I typically end up adding those holding lines there and then that will help give me this nice sharp corner. Now remember, we're always taking a look at our reference here. You can see that these corners are pretty tight, but maybe I can have some flexibility here and you know make them a little bit more rounder if I want, okay? So that's one way, all right? Now, you might just say, OK, cool, I'm just going to do that and move on. Well, the reason why I want to specifically show you this next one is because a lot of times I see people do this. OK, I see people go ahead and add an edge here. OK, add an edge here. Right. And here and here. Right. And so they'll basically just start adding in edges to get this corner tight. Right. And if we take a look here, right, if I kind of smooth these and do something like that, you can see that now, okay, cool, great, I have this corner nice and tight, but you can see that I've now added in all these extra edges here that kind of run along the model. Okay, this is what we want to avoid, all right? So I'll simply select these edges here and delete them, okay? Or control backspace to remove them, all right? So again, let me select these edges here that I had originally, all right? And then we're going to do a bevel again, and I'll just do a 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0
with no chamfer and go from here. Okay, now from this part here, uh, this point here, what we can do is go back to our edge mode, right? So again, this edge we can pretend uh, we just added. And if I go to multi-cut, you can see that I can add another edge here running across horizontally and another edge below it. So what I have here now is I've added these edges kind of like this, all right? So we've added a lot of edges that we don't need, okay, which are all these edges here. But what we want to do is focus on this corner here, all right? And one of the best ways to do that is just to split this face here. I always go to this face right over here, and this is the one that I split, okay? So I go to multi-cut, and then I end up cutting this here and here, all right? Now, what that does now, I can select these two edges here, running horizontally and vertically. These are the edges that I can get rid of. Now, before I do that, I can go ahead and move these edges a little bit closer to kind of help tighten this corner. Remember, if I go to smooth preview, you can see it's a little bit rounder. Well, I can tighten this a little bit here, something like this, all right? But again, if I don't want this to affect the rest of the mesh, well, that's why I split this face here. So I can select this edge running uh, vertically and this edge running horizontally and take a look. Just control, backspace, boom. And because I moved these, these edges closer, it's gonna help maintain the original form. And I'm now able to have this nice edge loop that's running around holding this corner, okay? And what I can do is I have these um, ver edges right here, these vertices, right? If I go ahead and hit three for smooth preview, you can see that I have a decently tight radius here. But if I wanna now, you know, just bring this in a little bit tighter, I certainly can. So you have something like this, okay? Where you have a lot more control over this corner. And there you go. And so this is starting to turn out a, a lot tighter. And then of course, we can go ahead and multi-cut and kind of split these edges here. Now, what I would recommend is just doing a little bit of cleanup where you can hold control shift and kind of scale these. That's a really nice tip I, I like to use a lot. And we're gonna bring these edges down uh, over here, right? So we want a nice, clean, even distribution of edges here. So if I go ahead and select all those, and we can kind of move that over. So we maintain this nice, clean uh, approach. And we still have these nice, tight corners. And you can see this pretty much looks like what we just had previously. Um, but sometimes, you know, it, it helps to kind of walk through this workflow when you have uh, a little bit messier uh, topology, okay? So we have that method. And then I'll show you one last method here next. Okay, and we're just back right before um, we did all the cutting, okay? So this is right when we did the bevel. And what I wanna do here is I can go ahead and kind of do this multi-cut where I just split this edge to here right click, and then I can go ahead and just kind of connect that around. So we're, what we're doing here, this technique that I, basically for these past three is called localizing topology. So, and I can go ahead and merge these here, okay? So this is another way for to get a corner. And what this is doing again, is that this is gonna help us focus and keep our topology focused in this area instead of having to go through and adding a bunch of edges like this to get tighter corners, right? We don't wanna do that. So by localizing topology, we can keep it in just this area over here. And if we want to, this one's a little bit messier, but then we can of course always go back and uh, kind of clean and control shift scale uh, to get some nicer, um, maintain nicer form, right? Control shift scale, make sure that we're scaling and maintaining it and constraining it to the original form uh, by sliding it on the edge, okay? And if I go ahead now and move these, you can see that I can kind of keep some a good even distribution of edges, okay? So that's, uh, again, another way to do these corners. All right, so what this will help you with now is if you have something like this, where I go ahead and create a cube again, and I'm really just gonna scale this guy way up, okay? So we're gonna scale him up like this, 
and we'll go ahead, shift right click and apply a smooth. Okay. And I'm going to subdivide this like four times, something like this. Okay. So you could have a cylinder, you could have a, a sphere, you could have all sorts of things um, on basically a non-flat surface. But now I want to go ahead and, you know, do an extrusion here for this face or these sets of faces okay and if I hit control E for extrude and do an, a, a little bit of an offset here like this to hold that form then hit G to repeat last and just kind of move that in okay so now we have this where we're on kind of a smooth surface and we want to really tighten up these corners okay it's a couple of a couple of things you can do where you can take these edges existing edges and just kind of move these in to really tighten that but once you start to do that it really starts to mess with the form a bit here um, and it works a lot of the times but if you want to go in and manually cut well you just use the technique that I just showed you which is you take this face and you split it so we split this here then we can take this edge here right this corner here and this is what's going to be holding this corner to really tighten this up okay so we're here and then we're going to do the same thing on the top corner piece here and this time we're going to run it all the way down something like this and i'm actually going to undo that so we'll start up here get a little bit cleaner of a cut there we go and we can go ahead and bring it here all right and what I want to do now is then split this face here. So we're doing the same thing on the bottom and it's being symmetry to the other side. All right. So now we're going to add another edge that runs along the bottom here. Okay. So we can cut this, split this, and we're going to run across here. Great. Then all we have to do is go to these guys here and remove these edges here, these corner ones. Once we do that, Look, we've now created an edge loop that runs all the way around here, all right? And this is going to help us maintain that form. And now we get a much nicer, tighter um, corner here. And we have absolute control where we can select these edges here and really start to bring that in and tighten it if need be. All right? Just be careful not to move it too much. We want to avoid any pinching here, but we can see that we get something that looks pretty good, especially on this curved surface. I'd say that was probably one of the most difficult things to, to learn and master is getting nice tight corners on curved surfaces. Anybody can do that on a flat surface, but you know, once you get into applying that to curved surfaces, you're really, really going to be in a, a, a good spot. Okay. So, you know, and of course you can do whatever you need to do here on these bottom faces uh, if you wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. But I, th I think we get it. I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, I really hope this this helped. So I can go ahead and scale that in, move that in. And right, I just want to finish up this last bit of a piece here. All right, so there you get something like that. Maybe if, you know, a little bit of a, a window opening on uh, there but back to kind of the original piece here is we have this and of course you know to kind of finish it off we have the multi-cut and then we can just clean up some of that area but the focus here was these corners okay and you can see that this is what i used on the original piece here exact same technique you can see that in the video and there's a little quite a bit more curvature here that you can see uh happening all right Final recap is you have this piece here, you, you do your beveling and holding lines, you split your faces, you route your edges, you add your holding lines, and you localize that topology so you're not adding in edges all throughout the mesh that you don't need. Okay, so again, I hope you guys found that useful. Uh, if you did, um, throw any tips down at the bottom, like, comment, subscribe, always appreciated, and uh, thanks. Here's uh, to a good 2021. I'll see you guys around.